Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to Hearthstone Hijinks, where we play a deck that should be long buried and forgotten in a prison deep below, but for some reason we thought it would be a great idea to release it, much like the old gods of the upcoming expansion. So as I like to do, uh, here we have the next expansion themed hijinks deck. Praise to Sathon, Cathon, I still can't do it. It's so bad. I'm sorry. We're obviously a priest because, you know, that's fairly culty. You know, we're the priest of Cthun. We have the dark cultists. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. We've got the cards that we've seen are going to be corrupted by the old gods. We've got mind-affecting game uh, games. Yes, we've got mind-affecting games. That's lovely. And cards because the old gods twist and torment you and drive you insane. We need to silence the non-believers, of course. Ragnaros had a run-in with an old god, Deathwing had a run-in with an old god, Hogger is getting uh, corrupted as well, the faceless manipulators are the forgotten ones, servants of the old gods, uh, excavated evil because we excavate them from the ground and then they cause chaos, so generally I'm really happy with this deck, Doomsayer of course, bringing the uh, preaching of the incoming apocalypse. Alrighty then, let us hop into a game and see how this deck deck holds up. I mean, it should be better than a lot of hijinks I've done, because there are individually good cards in here, but together it's kind of a pile of just utter terribleness, so yeah, we'll have to see. Granted, we are facing a rank 24. I like to imagine I'm his gatekeeper here, and I can just, <laughs> you shall not Pass, for I bring the heralding of the old god that will destroy this puny world. Sorry, I've got. I'm really, I'm really getting into the role that I'm playing here as this old god priest. So yeah, I'm liking it. Well met to you as well, Gwelen, Gwelenor, Gwelenor. What? Why? Why is that your name? Is is the question I need to ask? But you keep being you, Gwelenor. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't Gwelenor your Gwelenor. Priest makes a lot of sense because in Legion, Shadow Priest, which we do have Shadow Form in here, is now based on the Old Gods. You have an insanity meter and you turn into a uh, Old God tentacle form when you meet, reach maximum insanity. It's very cool. So I wish I did have the time to do the ridiculous grind to Legend again, but after doing it three times, I just... Ah, <laughs> you know, it just kind of takes it out of you. Actually, being legend is great, because people try lots of different decks, and it's interesting. But doing the grind up the ladder, people are just using whatever the flavor deck of the month is to try and maximize their wins, and it's just so dull. So honestly, I much prefer being at this rank for hijinks, because uh, I like to imagine that these are newer players playing their first sort of uh, week deck and they're just enjoying themselves and then I'm providing them this cool little challenge because I know what I'm doing but at the same time I'm playing a weird interesting deck that they get to have fun experiencing so yeah I do really really like it we're simply just gonna trade there and heal up there's nothing really else that I can accomplish this turn I mean with the introduction of over 130 new cards and standard format so we lose things like shredder and doctor in every deck then we should have a lot more fun, so I'm definitely thinking I'll get big back into competitive Hearthstone when standard and Whispers of the Old Gods hit, so yeah, I'm very, very excited for that. But for now, we will hijinks all day, every day. Yes, so we will. Do I want to do this? I mean, I can only do six to that, so it's really not that worth it. I mean, I, I guess I will just kill... Uh, the uh, Demolisher, there's no real reason not to. Again, I don't have much to play. I mean, once we get to turn 8, we're going to be dropping it like it's hot. Because, I mean, it's literally made of fire. So that should uh, give him some pause for concern here. Isn't that right, Tournament Medic? Isn't that right? Look at you with your glowing hands of loveliness. What happened to you, troll? You're a race of bloodthirsty savages who kill expertly and sometimes just for the lols. And now you are here, mending wounds. Ooh, I'm glad I have this silence in my hand. I will tell you that much. Uh, yes, I will. I mean, do I want to use my 
Shadow Madness for this? I'm not actually sure, because I could uh, take this back, hit that, and then kill this, and then that's kind of nice, but mm, I don't think it's that worth it, because I can just uh, excavate evil through most of this spawn. In fact, I might do that now. Ah, let's just mind games. Let's see what happens. Pint size summoner. Go on then. In that case, I'm I'm going to play. Apparently, playing Doomsayer nearly killed me. What the hell happened there? I played Doomsayer and my throat went. <laughs> I'm gonna close up now because fuck you, rage. And I'm just there like Doom, Doomsayer. You were right all along. I'm. I'm doing so much doom! <laughs> uh, just not great. Not great at all. Nearly did that very, very wrongly there. Do I want Ragnaros or do I want Force Tank Max? Uh, let's go Ragnaros, why the hell not? And then we'll kill him, increase our chances. I do want it to hit the Alarma bot. Just because uh, I don't want to know what this is going to pull onto the field. Uh, could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. I mean, we could at least Shadow Madness to pop the shield uh, with the Tournament Medic and get rid of that at the same time. And then we have a couple shots with Ragnaros, assuming nothing else helps it kill it. So I'm okay with this, definitely. And then we have our own Force Tank Max if things don't quite pan out that way. But yeah, Doomsayer really tried his best to doom me there. And that's kind of scary. Maybe I'm getting too involved. Maybe I'm getting too deep, too into the system. Oh, they're onto me. They're onto me! Quick! Charles, call the helicopter! Sir, we don't have a helicopter. Also, I'm not real. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Okay. Alright, I have a plan. It's a good plan. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic plan. A really, really excellent plan. Ah, uh, I can't. That sucks. I can't do both. It really does. I'm going to see what Thought Steel gives me before I make any further decisions. That's kind of nice. If only this was three mana and then I could shield up my Ragnaros. But as it currently stands, there is no point doing anything else. This is such a shame. I mean, it's nice that I can pop the shield and all and also kill his 2-7, but please the monkey or the tank? Why? Why? Why not the monkey or the tank? It just needed to be the monkey or the tank. That sounds like a really bad joke set up. So a monkey and a tank walk into a bar. Ooh, he would have had blood night. That would have been terrifying, but we dealt. You know, we dealt. I mean, I'm assuming he's going to trade Ragnaros for the false tank max. He is really going for this. Oh god, so many bananas. So many bananas. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of bananas. That is a lot of bananas. Well, we need to do that and uh, kill what we can kill here. There we go. He is back down to a much, much weaker border. Uh, and then I think I'm going to play the Doomsayer just because I need something. You know, I need something. Ah, oh, no! No! Well, in that case, I am going to give it a divine shield so that it at least has to waste two attacks on it. So that's good for me. You know, that six damage isn't going my face. I think we can confirm, as it turns out, guys, this deck's pretty bad. <laughs> like, really, really bad. Oh, the Consecrate. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think it might be time for our second excavated evil. I think that is going to be pretty good here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, do we have any way of dealing with that? It looks like we don't. Nice. All right, well, heal bot we need. Do I mind games or go for the safe play? That's the question. Ah, when in Rome. God damn it, mind games! You suck so hard! At least we have something else to trade with things and we're not dead yet. Oh, come on. Come on. Please just don't kill the 2 2. Just. Oh my god, stop! Why? Why do you do this? Oh, why? We are so screwed. 
That just won him the game and he doesn't even know it. Unless I drew silence, but no, I didn't draw silence because uh, the world uh, hates me. Yes, it does. The world hates me. Well, we're doing that. We'll excavate some more evil and then hope that we draw something that saves us. And of course, we don't. God damn it, Quillen and all. God damn it. Well, at least he gets to go to rank 23. So he's got that going for him. I guess Sustone isn't quite ready to be heralded yet. You know, he's not quite got that going for him. But that's okay. We'll, we'll definitely herald him in in the next game. <laughs> God damn. Well played, man. I mean, I really don't mind. That was a lot of fun, but holy hell. I definitely did a few inefficient turns, but that's mainly because I was convinced nothing that terrible could happen to me. But boy, was I wrong. Oh, was I wrong. I mean, I don't know what was worse. The fact I nearly died during that... Oh, the fact that I lost. Okay, no mercy this time. Absolutely no mercy from this diabolically terrible deck. Let's get rid of all, y'all. Yes, indeed. Please give me some early pressure. Hey, Hogger. And at least we get a mind vision to start with. But yay, mind blast. Uh, I love the animation for mind blast. That poor gnome is just being obliterated from the inside. Like, it's actually quite brutal. I really hope he got mind vision. I really, really want him to have got mind vision there. Oh, ah, we got a black wing technician. Are we going to see some dragon antics all up in here? That would be pretty cool from Mr. He did actually get mind vision. <laughs> that is what I like to see. That is what I like to see. I'm going to leave it for now. I was thinking of a preemptive Doomsayer just to stall him, but I don't know. I think it's going to be just as good at playing it on our next turn. Yeah, good. That is absolutely fine. So we'll play down the Blackwing just because we don't have any dragons apart from Deathwing to power it. And we can't really wait for Deathwing to show up. And we can confuse it to four attack just in case we need to trade with something. But we shall see. No, not a shadow word pain. Anything but that. Hey, early shadow. No form. Let's bloody do it. Uh, this is uh, gonna be good. I mean, to be fair, if any time you want to go shadow form, early game when nothing has gone horribly wrong yet is exactly the time to make it happen. Okay, well, gonna be doomsayering. That should get rid of the world's powerfulest Blackwing technician quite nicely. And then we'll just do two damage to his face. I mean, he might have another Shadow Word Pain, but that would be very unlucky for me because he's already used one, so the chance of him having the other are really quite astronomically low. And if he can't do anything here, then I get some really good value from this Doomsayer because not only does it stall his turn a little bit, yeah, he's actually having to just hit me and end his turn. Ha <laughs> ha! How good is that? And what this lets us do is get down Hogger on an empty board so we can start our armada of taunting gnolls. Ain't that right, Hogger? And because obviously he's got four attack, that's going to be pretty good against a priest. So all in all, the world is okay. No, who's he going for? Uh, that's, that's fine. That really does absolutely nothing, in fact. So that is okay. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Ah, oh, it sucks it didn't go golden. It really does. But at the same time, we'll injure him to two, so he has to die to one of the taunts. But the Null Army shall rise! I really want to draw the other Faceless Manipulator so, so badly. Can you do it, priesty boy? Can you get through this? No. Oh, actually, no. Convert is fine. He just gets to then play his own hogger immediately. <laughs> so this is what it's become now. A fight between hoggers. Isn't that just wonderful? Though the thing is, I can get through his hogger with uh, my mind spike to deal with that and then just trade off hoggers. But I want to keep maximum hoggerage. So I'm going to go for mind games, see what we end up with. Hey, Hungry Dragon is not bad at all. All right, and then I suppose we'll do that. And then technically we can just ignore it because we're going to get two extra taunts, which means that everything will just be fine. So yeah, 
<laughs> it turns out, guys, having two hoggers on your board, pretty good. You know, uh, acceptable, I would say. Because even with his hogger trying to counteract me, it's just not going to work out for him. Even that 4-7 isn't that threatening. Ah, the death kind of sucks there. But we got value out of uh, mind games for once in our life. Uh, yep, you just keep on powering through all of those nulls, my friend. Uh, you just keep on powering through... Uh, so I think now is the time to Ragnaros, and then we will coin and finish his uh, Hogger. Use, of course, my non-golden one to uh, get rid of his, and then because he's only got two attacks on the field, I am happy to just leave it and let my Wall of Taunts save me. <laughs> this is going so well. 4-7! <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I mean, my hand is so terrible right now. So this board does need to win the game. Though I do have two Mind Blasts, and uh, that's kind of nice. Could I have won last turn? Maybe I could have won, but honestly, I really don't care. I'm having uh, a lot of fun here. But I think now it's time for... I don't even care that I had lethal. There is no way in hell I am resisting having an army of three hoggers on my board. There is no way that I am not doing that. <laughs> He's digging for something. He is digging for something. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, the master spell. My hoggers. Oh, my hoggers. My poor, poor hoggers. There goes two of them. I mean, we still have one left, so that's nice. You know, we got that going for us. Well played, my friend. Well played. We'll get rid of that final hogger, and then I'll mind blast you. <laughs> what a wonderful game of Hearthstone. What an absolutely holy hogger, that man. <laughs> All right, let us do one more to round off this hijinks. Oh, my mouth hurts from smiling. That was wonderful. The question is, uh, who will be the next victim of the Herald of the Old Gods? Uh, you may be a worthy opponent, but you're about to get taken down a peg, Mr. Apollo Sira. Apollo Sira? Yeah, Apollo Sira. Well, I mean, getting Hogger is definitely a good sign, but we can't keep him because six mana is a little bit hefty for a non-coin opening hand. No, now that I think about it, can I have Hogger back instead of Mind Blast? Is that cool? Yeah, there's too many cards in this game that just don't do anything normally. That's in this game. Yeah, just in this game. To be fair, that is also true. But in this deck, there's too many cards that just kind of are situational that I don't really need generally. So when I draw a hand like this, there's not a lot I've got going for me. I mean, I might play the Doomsayer just to stall him a turn and see what happens. Why the hell not? But I uh, am really not happy with this start. Unless I draw Dark Cultist next turn and actually get an okay curve. Really? He's not gonna- surely he's gonna kill my Doomsayer. Like, why else would he play that? Also, is he playing Murloc Paladin with one health Murlocs as well as a Pyromancer? Why did he just sacrifice his Murloc? I feel like he didn't properly look at the board there, in which case that's hilarious. Oh, may as well heal up. God damn, give me Thought Steel, give me Mind Vision, give me something. I just need some cards to play. Though Thought Steel against a probable Murloc deck is not great because I just give him more Murloc synergy to work with. This is fine, it's just going to get excavated away. Hogger! Good to see you. Good to see you. Hopefully he puts 4 mana worth of creatures with less than 3 health on the board so I get maximum excavated evil value, but I should be- Oh no, wow, really kind of perfect, so that's interesting. Either he got a very bad hand or this is a very weird deck that I'm facing. I'm thinking the first one because, you know, you could definitely put muster for battle in a murloc deck, so there it is. Uh, goodbye. It's kind of a nice little card, excavated evil. It's not great, but it's a nice little card. And the next turn 
turn, we can hogger it up once more. I'm liking that hogger has effectively become the key component of this deck. We've not actually seen Deathwing yet, which is surprising. Not that we've spent much time at turn 10, so it wouldn't matter too much either way. But yeah, this is a very, very good turn to drop our furry friend. Let's uh, do it. Let's uh, bloody do it, eh, Mr. Noll? Yes, in indeed. Uh, I'm trying to think of a play with Noll, but I don't think there actually is one. Noll could be n no. This doesn't really make sense as no. Like, can I kill you, please? Noll. Yeah, it doesn't really, doesn't really work out. I guess maybe. Oh, they're all dead. I guess that's that's the end of Hogger. <laughs> he had a wonderful career, and then he died screaming in holy light. It was it was really quite the trying time for Hogger and his little Hoggerlings as they watched their father die in serious screaming pain. Oh, look at our hand. This is so terrible. Oh, it's so terrible. I at least want to get to turn 10 so I can hopefully mind control a Tyrion, and that would be pretty good for me, but as it stands, things are going mad wrong, yo. I'm sorry that I said that. I really am. I, I am so, so sorry. I think I thought not of what I was doing. I went with the flow and proved that I am once again the whitest of white people. I'd like to take this time to apologize to anyone who may know me or be aware of me and say that I really could understand it if you wish to break all ties and uh, pretend that you've never even heard of my name. Thank you. But please don't actually. I need you to stay. I'm so lonely. Isn't that right, Apollo Sira? I'm so lonely. I'm hoping he uses the other charge of uh, True Silver to get rid of my heal bot so that I can Doomsayer quite effectively, but it looks like he's really desperate. No, no, we're actually fine. Wow, that's quite nice. Uh, so he needs to pull out some extra damage to get through this Doomsayer. I mean, granted, it's only one extra damage, but damage is damage. Though I could Shadow Madness, kill these two, and then Doomsayer, and that would technically work, although that extra True Silver is... Uh, very irritating, but then suddenly I gain a way out of the situation. So that makes me very, very happy. Do I want a preemptive Doomsayer? I don't think I do, simply because he's only got three cards in his hand and I'm not expecting that much to hit the board this turn, so that's nice. And I wonder if he's drawn any of my excavated evils I've given him. No, but he is going to go back to full health because, damn it! And it looks like he's kind of sick of me not being dead, so he's trying his best to make it so. That's really such a terrible use of his true silver, but given my hand, it really doesn't matter. Oh, man. I just... I just... Ah, oh, there's just nothing. I'll do that for the sake of it, just so he uses his final true silver to get rid of it, but my hand is so objectively terrible then I'm just not going to win this game unless he plays something ridiculous that I can mind control. That's really all there is here. Oh, he's still going face. He's just going to accept that his heal bot and 1-1 one, one are gone. That's interesting. I mean, it's good for me, don't get me wrong, but I really wouldn't have expected that because I have absolutely... Hey! No board presence. I mean, I don't want to do Deathwing yet, but we'll see what happens. I want to get rid of my other big cards in my hand. At least pop off the Mind Blast and the Mind Control, so that's a few turns away. Anything can happen! Oh god, I wish I had my Excavated Evil back. I really do. Fortunately, Shadow Madness is pretty good at dealing with this. We'll just grab that over here and attack that into there. Looking pretty nice. And then I can shadow form and deal with the buffer. And it's all looking good. Granted, I'm now on very low health and looking like I'm staying that way. But at the same time, I can just wipe the next anything can happen. Am I dead? Three, six, nine, twelve. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright then, looks like we don't have a choice but to put down Deathwing here. <laughs> what is this game? 
what is this game? If he just has, like, Consecrate, I'm going to be... Oh, no! My death ring has been reduced to terribleness. Oh, but then I'm getting Consecrate anyway. Well, that was a... An interesting game of Hearthstone. Let's just say that. All right. That's the Herald of the Old God uh, hijinks. Let me know what you'd like to see uh, next time as I go cry at receiving the you can't lose stars at this rank notification. My name's been Rage. Like you've enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you later on. Oh, goodbye.